Excuse me, sires. At last, vengeance is mine. It's ridiculous. Who would dare steal the crown of... <gasps> oh, no. I knew it. Let me pass. Oh, the crown's still here. Thank heavens. Listen, you hear that? He's escaping over the roof. Gawain, go down. Cut him off. Ivanhoe, catch the swine. He got away. I doubt we shall find him now. I'll have the abbey searched. He shan't escape from here. The guard told me everything. Bless you, my son. Luckily, the crown was far too heavy to flee with over the rooftops. My lord abbot, the Archbishop of Canterbury has arrived. His eminence, at this hour? It seems Cedric was convincing after all. Steal the crown of England? Who would dare such treachery? And how did you know? For simple, Your Grace. Loyal friends of Richard got wind of the plot. And the robber? Unknown, but as guardian of the crown, you surely would have been disgraced. Prince John would then be free to replace you with his own man. Your hatred of John clouds your judgment, sir. He somehow escaped, even though all the monastery doors are under guard. Unless he dwells inside the abbey. Certainly not, sire. Our robber was from outside. He clearly broke in through the back door of the abbey. The fiend knew his way around very well. Sir Knight, every man here has my complete confidence. Pardon me, Your Grace, but Sir Ivanhoe has a good point. We should trust no one on this. I suggest we move the chest to a place where no one will look for it. Under the chapel organ. Yet another disaster! Your mysterious accomplice has utterly failed, all because of that accursed Ivanhoe! He did not fail, Your Highness. He was betrayed. 
But all is not yet lost on one condition. What condition? That Front de Boeuf is told nothing further. What? You dare say I betrayed you? You and your prattling tongue. Yesterday, did you not ask me whether the plan to steal the crown was still on for tonight? But we were on safe ground at Torkelston. No one heard anything. Ah, yes, at Torkelston. But not alone. Lady Rowena was sure to have heard us. I'll wager she warned Ivanhoe, as usual. She comes and goes from Torkelston as she pleases. I swear she never leaves the castle without my leave, and I defy you to prove otherwise. I accept your challenge. You have the proof that Lady Rowena is a traitor? Yes, sire, and that she communicates with Ivanhoe. We shall use that to rid ourselves of the knight and steal the crown. That's everything? Well then, act accordingly, but I trust you will leave me out of this affair. I shall depart for one week. I want this settled before my return. My lord, you don't truly believe. We shall see. Till then, you're under the command of Bois Gilbert. You are excused, gentlemen. You shall pay for this. Front de Boeuf, my lord Bois Gilbert wishes to speak to you about this Ivanhoe affair. Ivanhoe? It's quite important, my lord. Apparently, you wish to speak with me. Yes, how is Lady Rowena? It seems ages since I've seen her. She's well. Is that all you wish to know? <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I shall meet you tonight in the York Abbey Chapel with the Archbishop of Canterbury. And how's that concern me? Tomorrow you will stand by to attack Ivanhoe at Rotherwood, if the need arises. Attack Rotherwood? Oh, but, but under what pretext? I can say no more. Whatever you do, speak to no one. Guards! Fetch me, Lady Rowena! You! You wish to see me, sire? Where were you? In my bedchamber, I felt unwell. Oh? Unwell? Uh, uh, return there at once, and there you shall remain until tomorrow and speak to no one. As you wish. Uh, uh, I pray you understand, my lady. It is for your own safety. You are lord of the castle, sire. I shall therefore obey you and speak to no one. Especially not to you. What a little pest. You two! I want you to stand guard beneath Lady Rowena's window and let no one near. Understand? Ah, so I'm a rotten guard. My lady, are you still there? Leave me in peace, Front de I'll not answer again. <laughs> we shall soon see who has the last laugh, Master Bois Gilbert. <laughs> The attack on the Chateau must have to do with the meeting between Bois Gilbert and the Archbishop, but I don't know what. I will secretly listen into their meeting. Meanwhile, prepare to repel an attack. And why must we stay here? Don't you think we can be discreet as well? Far from it. You have my trust, Rebecca. That's the reason I'm asking Cedric to escort you discreetly home. And Rowena, please be careful. I fear this crown affair has aroused their suspicions of you. Pray you be careful too. Bois Gilbert sounded so confident. Well, do what you will. I'm off to the kitchen. What for? Well, someone must check our stockpile of food in case we are besieged. <laughs> <laughs>
did this, Father. Can you speak? Ivanhoe, villainous dog! Lay down your sword! You're done for! Stop your foolish talk and help me here. What's going on here now? Father Anselm, heavens! Your Holiness, the organ destroyed. The crown's gone. Crown? Huh? The crown hidden here. Who dares steal the crown of England? I heard a noise, rushed to the chapel, and there, it was him, Ivanhoe. What? Yes, I caught him carrying the chest along with two accomplices. Your grace, I tried stopping them, and they hit me. Oh. Father Anselm! Ivanhoe, you! But it's not true! And with your accomplices gone, you are ready to finish the job. <laughs> Quickly, seize him! <laughs> Oh, oh, guards! Arrest him! Faster, imbeciles! There's no way out! We have him! Not quite! Hey, that was my foot! I didn't mean to slip in your mouth! He's escaping! After him! <laughs> Ivanhoe! How did you get in here? And how dare you? The whole garrison is after me. I've come to proclaim my innocence. I've been falsely accused. Sir Ivanhoe, I've known Father Anselm for 30 years, and I do not take his word lightly. And only we three knew where the chest was hidden. Any one of the monks could have come across it. As for Father Anselm, the chapel was in darkness. His attacker needed only to dress like me. But no matter, what's important is that the chest is still on the premises. How do you know? The thieves had only one exit, the door to the monastery. They had no time to hide it anywhere else. You're suggesting the culprits are here? They're monks? No one leaves until we've searched the monastery from top to bottom. And I too shall do some investigating. But I'll need a little time. Since Prince John's away, only you have the power to lay charges. Grant me a few days. I'll do whatever's possible. Thank you, Your Eminence. Oh, to think I led you into this trap. I had no idea of their treachery. No, beloved, it was my thoughtlessness that put you at risk. Now they're aware that you are my informant. Who would ever have thought Front de Boeuf would take part in a ploy that makes him look bad as a guard? And what if the trick is on Front de Boeuf? A rivalry between the two of them? If that's so, I have a trick of my own. Front of Earth, I've won my wager. Uh, what, uh, what wager? Last night while you were sleeping, Lady Rowena alerted Ivanhoe of my mythical meeting at the Abbey. Rowena? Why, that's impossible. And while he was at it, he stole the crown of England. <sighs> the audacity. The crown? What, you, you mean it has been stolen? How could it have been? Never mind. Continue your watch here. I'll take your men and corner Ivanhoe and Rotherwood before I burn it to the ground. <laughs> Good day, Front de Boeuf. But how could you have done it? Tell me, how? You've been made a fool of by Bois Gilbert. Huh? I heard everything. Clearly he has masterminded this charade to ruin you. He's jealous. Bois Gilbert? For instance, take the crown. Since Ivanhoe didn't steal it, Bois Gilbert must have done the dirty deed. But will he give it back? We shan't let him get away with it. We must expose his treachery. Uh, wait a moment. Why on earth would you do that? You see, Bois Gilbert fancies me and wishes to become my jailer, but I have grown quite fond of you. 
That dirty scoundrel, just oh. wait till I get that... Oh, no, no. This needs a delicate touch. We'll get the crown back from him. The crown? Huh. How can you be sure, Rowena? If you present the crown to John, he'll listen to you, not Bois Gilbert. I'll hurry to your castle to spy on him. You'll join me there shortly, Front de Boeuf. Farewell. Now to set the trap for Bois Gilbert. You requested my presence, my lady. Why, yes, I did. I'm deeply concerned. About Ivanhoe, no doubt. No, about Front de Boeuf. He frightens me. Front de Boeuf? He's acting strange. As soon as you left, he began talking to himself and giggling. He talked to himself? I cannot but wonder, might the chest be preying on his mind? A chest? A chest he and a hooded man carried through the halls just last night. They went down to the cellar. Ever since Front de Boeuf's been strange, there he is. Say nothing of our conversation. Aha! It's you! I'm seeking Lady Rowena. Ah, yes. I was just talking to her. She was speaking about a chest that you possess. Chest? I have no chest. Where till I get her? A chest! What an idea! <laughs> By my faith, he could never have done that. You were perfect. Look what he's doing. He's surely off to see if the crown is still where he has hidden it. The bandit! I'll see you soon, my beloved. <laughs> Open up in there! Anyone there? <gasps> Why have you come here, traitor? To murder me without a witness? False friend! Defend yourself! Nothing but a crown thief! You'll pay for this! Ah, oh, missed! Curses! Front de Boeuf arrived too soon! Coward! Ivan Ivanhoe! Leave him to me! <laughs> Say your prayers! <laughs> Death to Ivanhoe! No! Leave it to me, I say! Got you! Help me, Your Grace! Come quickly! What devilry is this? Come on out! Shall at last pay for all the humiliations you've heaped on me! Finally! Now to die! Stop at once! What a disaster. Your Eminence, look over there! The crown! Oh! What is going on? The crown has been recovered! The Lord be praised! So you return to look for it, you conniving devil? There's only one man, Your Grace, who possibly could have hidden the chest where it's been found. A clever man, well informed, who can come and go as he pleases. Oh, who are Gilbert's accomplice, you... father and self. Get away! Or I'll... <laughs> I'll slit his throat! <laughs> Why have you done this? If I had my way, you'd have been disgraced, cast out, rejected, reviled. I had Prince John's word. 
You see, I've been plotting your downfall for years. And I thought you were my good friend. <laughs> your good friend, while you gloated at all the honors? Take him away. With pleasure, your grace. Once again, good night. Mm -hmm. Ivanhoe! You are a strong fellow, sir. You'll be fit again in no time. Excuse me, your grace. The abbot has fled. He had accomplices, that is clear. They had a horse standing by for him. <laughs> what accomplices? One was all he needed, yourself. By all that's sacred, you shall not... That's enough, poor Gilbert. Your role is already dubious. As for you, gallant knight, I entrust to you the safe return of the crown of England to King Richard. Do you accept? Yes. I would be honored, your eminence. Guard! Where is Lady Rowena? In her room, your lordship, praying for your recovery. Ah, what joy it is to be loved. and friends too.